Hello guys, so today I'm going to show to you how we can continually generate another imposters. So in this video, we're going to generate more four imposters. And these will be just the three examples since this is more larger and works better. So I will create another. So I will just put the reference, clear T and render the frames. Okay. So if you lost the first video, watch out, we'll be in the playlist for the Unreal Engine 5. And after that, just click in the RT and render frames. So every time you generate your imposter, you need to verify in the buffer visualization. You need to check the channels for roughness and for specular. So I always try to match the color of the two because in the end will be the same mesh and you need a seamless transition for for avoid the the difference in the pop-up. Okay? So right here you can put the specific value for match. You need to this is trying in error, just remember the values is between 0 to 1. And in that way, in the buffer visualization, you can configure it, your imposters. Your imposters will be in the far distance, so will be okay at the distance. Let's move on. So I will put the I will press F2 and Ctrl C to copy the name of my asset. After that, I will go to Procedural Mesh and click in Create Static Mesh. I will choose a place for save my mesh, give a name and click in Save. Okay, so this part is very important. You just need to go to the folder and export this asset. Put in the, a proper name and right here in this port, you just unmark everything. Okay, so now we can delete this mesh from the editor for avoiding crash. And now you go to create static assets, but remember to check the name so you can rename your texture for the proper name of the mesh, okay? So this name for me is just change a number and then you can create static asset. This asset you need to save. So click in save all and uncheck the level because you have a reference in your BP and sometimes will crash. Okay, so we finished this part and we can render another tree. I will generate all of our meshes and export and generate the texture, the material instance, and then we export. Okay. After that, I will import and configure the distance LOD. So I will demonstrate for you now again with a new asset, will be this asset 301. I hold out for duplicate and put in the same position. I will clear the reference, then just that. So clear RT and render frames again. Okay, so I will rename my my assets and I can click in render frames. So I always check the buffer visualization. I will speed this process because it's the same and you can see how I generate all of my mesh. Okay, so it will be the same same steps, don't worry. You've already seen this in my first example in this video and I have uh, my first video that I posted. So you can check. So this process will depend of your tree. Sometimes you need to change the specular, sometimes you just need to move, move forward because it will be almost the same thing. But specular and roughness are the channel for your visualization in the buffer visualization. Okay. So let's make this process 
a little more faster. We are in our final tree, okay? So it will be the same thing. Just remember to clear the RT, check the buffer visualization. The colors need to match more in the leaves because in the far distance you only will see the, the leaves of your mesh and not the trunk. So I exported the mesh and I always try to delete after. You see? Okay. So now is the sp the normal speed and you can verify your BP, you clear the reference and then you delete and save your current level or not. I I want to save this level and you can open the gigantic map. Okay? So in the wireframe, as you can see, we not put our imposters yet. So are very dense in the wireframe and foliage assets are not supported in the nanite yet. I hope will work soon, but let's wait for the updates of the Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so this level will be optimized using the imposters. Okay, so I will open the overview and find my asset again. So I generated my my tree. This name is 01, I think. So yes, SCM tree 01. Okay, so you go to LOD settings and choose import LOD level 3. Okay, find your proper name where you save your exported mesh. Let's wait a little for compiling the mesh distance field. Okay. And now we can find where we save our material instance and just copy and paste. So is the zero one. Go to the last material. And right here you can see our imposters. Okay, so mesh distance field generate now is a little black for the illumination of the shadow. And right here you can put a screen size of 0 0.1. Okay, clicking save, close. So let's move to another tree. Double click and redo this process, okay? So I will put in the normal speed again, for you to understand, import LOD level 3. Search for the proper name that you save. Okay, let's wait a little for compiling the distance field. And always remember to put your material instance as the same name. So we'll be more in the top. You can put LOD3 and the, put the screen size. And now let's put our material instance. I will move this a little bit. This is the mesh03, so I put the proper name. Okay, clicking save after. Let's wait a little. So this is level 2, this is the level 3. You can put the LOD auto for you verify in the engine the LOD transitions. So now is imposter. Okay. So I will increase the speed of this because we need to import more two trees. Okay, but it's the same process, don't worry. If you not understand, you can return a little the video. Import, put the the distance and put the material instance and then clicking in save. 
Okay, so let's put in the normal speed again. And this is the wireframe. So our imposters for the tree are working. Close distance will be displayed the normal mesh, and for distance will be the imposters. Okay. So this is the wide frame. Very good. And this is our large scene. Okay, we need to change some values in the light source because the illumination are not working. So click in distance field shadows, increasing the maximum value. And you need to change if you have this, this map, you need to change the cascade shadow. Okay, so I will put these values right here. And right here, cascaded shadow maps put a value of 5000. And now the illumination are a little strange, but you need to activate in the foliage. Okay, not is a problem in your light source. We need to need to verify the distance field shadows in our foliage. So how you can do that? You can click in your foliage asset. Okay, but first let me put mm, right here, click, let's mark everything in the foliage and check the effect distance field. Okay, so now our mesh have some shadows and in far distance will look very good. Okay, so this is working with the imposters and have the proper illumination. And you can see now fire trees have using the imposters. Okay. I will check the subsurface. So subsurface are working. And this is our level. Okay. So I will try to enable the lumen. So to activate lumen, click in the post process volume or search for it right here, post process volume and clicking global type global, sorry, and activate lumen. But right now the lumen not are working for the landscape. So this is why I very black. But in the far distance, view looks better.